what's going on guys we have this question right here it's asking find column a row a and null a, a of a is equal to 12050013000 so in this case what do we have to do so they have given this in Gauss Jordan method already so we don't have to find the Gauss Jordan method usually what when they give numbers like this we have to find Gauss Jordan and solve this equation but in this case they have given it already so we don't have to do it but we have to make sure we, we find the leading coefficients so since in this one this is one leading coefficient this is one leading coefficient so what is going to be my column a let's see so column a is going to be whatever the whatever the column that have leading coefficient so column a is going to be span you have to write span in this case and 100 zero zero, one zero zero then we have zero one zero so these are the column a and if I have to find row a it's going to be the column with the leading coefficient so it's going to be span this one one two zero five five and then we have zero zero one three since we have this one now uh, we have to find null a so to find the null a the first thing we have to do is we have to equalize it to zero so it's going to be one two zero five zero zero one three zero 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 equal to zero 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 so in this case we have two leading coefficient so we have to since this has infinitely many solutions we have to give this one in terms of free free variables so we know the free variables are the one without leading coefficient the lines with the, the columns without the leading coefficient so this is going to be a leading coefficient it's going to be uh, y and let's say this is t so i have to give everything in terms of y and t so first of all let's form equations this since this one is have one so it's going to be x plus 2y uh, 0z so i don't have to write it it's going to be 5 plus 5t 5t is going to be equal to 0 and the second equation is uh, 1z so it's going to be z plus 3t is equal to 0 so my free free variables are free variables uh, y and t y comma t right so i had to write everything in in terms of y comma t so first uh, let's find a x uh, x is going to be minus 2y minus 5t and my z is going to be minus 3t so i can write this one as minus 2y minus 5t comma y is going to be y because it's a free variable and my z is going to be minus 3t and t is going to be t because it's also a free free variable so this is my uh, values now in i have to express in null a so so in order to do that i have to first write this one and let's do this so first of all first of all what i have to do is i have to write this both equations so null null a is going to be equal to is minus 2y minus 5t comma comma y comma minus 3t minus 3t comma t right so these are my null 3t and we don't add so it's 3 t minus okay t so these are my null now what i have to do is i have to take this comma so since we have two of the different variables so uh, first of all we have y and t so how do we how can we take this comma so in order to take this one comma i have to separate y and t separate i have to separate it so in order to do that what i have to do is i have to simply take uh, y components together so it's going to be um, so first of all uh, i can directly do that so it's going to be if i take y for first one so they are going to be minus 2y 
and the second one we have one y in the third one we have only t so it means it's zero y so i have to take zero then the fourth one we have t only so it means it's zero y so zero together and then we have to put plus sign then we have to take all the t's so in the first equation we have minus 5t in the second one we have y only so it means 0 t and the third one we have minus 3t so minus 3 comma and the fourth one we have 1 so these are my two different variables and what I have to do is why I am not done yet so I have to if they ask now I have to express one express this one in terms of span so if it's null null a is equal to span so when we express this one in span the first thing we have to remember is we shouldn't put any y or t variable because it means they have infinitely many possible numbers y or t mean uh, any it can be any number and it, it's infinitely many possible numbers so in order to, uh, in order to express in span we have to bring the basic form of this one so to do that I have to simply eliminate the y and t and just write the basic numbers so it's gonna be uh, it's minus 2 1 0 0 in this case it's not a plus it's gonna be comma and it's gonna be minus 5 0 minus 3 1 and that's my final answer I hope you guys understand this uh, uh, see you next time